On September 19th, the UK government issued a six-monthly report on Hong Kong, which contains criticism on Hong Kong affairs. What's the foreign ministry's comment? We see this so-called report, the usual irresponsible, non-factual accusations. It is a blatant interference in matters related to Hong Kong, which are China's internal affairs. This is also against the principles of international law and the basic norms of international relations. China strongly deplores and firmly opposes it. Hong Kong's progress is indisputable. Since its return to the motherland, the one country, two systems has achieved internationally recognized success in Hong Kong. Hong Kong has actively integrated itself into China's development and continues to serve as an important bridge and window between China mainland and the rest of the world. Hong Kong's economy continues to thrive and its status as an international financial shipping and trade center remains solid. Constitutional order continues to function well. National security is upheld. The principle of patriots administering Hong Kong is implemented and Hong Kong enjoys bright prospects in advancing its democracy. The Sino-British Joint Declaration must not be abused. The essence of the declaration is to ensure that China resumes the exercise of sovereignty over Hong Kong. The UK has no sovereignty jurisdiction or right of supervision over Hong Kong after its return to China. The measures to run Hong Kong affairs according to law brooks no interference. Hong Kong affairs are China's internal affairs. The legal basis for the Chinese government's governance of Hong Kong is China's constitution and the basic law of the Hong Kong as they are. The national security law and the improved electoral system has enabled Hong Kong to enter a new stage in which it has restored order and it's set to thrive. The SAR government's action regarding those suspected of violating the law in accordance with the law is a just move to maintain the rule of law in Hong Kong and what is required to safeguard China's national sovereignty and security. It's constitutional and legal and beyond a reproach. Here's a word of advice for the UK side. No foreign interference will shake the Chinese government's firm resolve to fully and faithfully implement one country, two systems and two, and no gimmick to destabilize Hong Kong will succeed.